test 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 hope everybody can hear me out there i'm your host doc freeman and welcome back to another edition of late night inspiration tonight we're going to be going over a couple of things actually you know it's not going to be like a tutorial session at all to be honest with you uh tonight it's going to be more of me just getting stuff done that i should have been getting done and along the way i'm just going to be explaining what i'm doing uh but mainly what I want to talk about tonight is just tracking out your sounds inside a machine, uh, how easy it can be. Of course, we're up to update 2.12 right now. So we have a couple of options for exporting. But without further ado, I'm going to get into it. And uh, I'm going to shut the music off in just a minute. Just got to make one more minor addition to the experience, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So, you know, honestly, I'm not even going to mess with it. Right now, I am going to apologize for the way how the screen looks. A part of it is cut off at the moment. We'll have it fixed by next time. If there's anything at the bottom, uh, like velocity, scale, and stuff like that that you guys need to see, just know that I'm not doing anything special with it right now. But without further ado, let's get into making some music. Let's be inspired and stay inspired. Let's go. All right, let's get it. So what I got right now is I have a song that, um, a song idea actually that I was working on after the last late night inspirations where I went over machine update 2.1.2 and just explaining what clips are and uh, what you can do with clips as you can see I took the liberty of already going through everything right now so I can just give you guys the end result excuse me the end result of um, of that second track that I did that night it was actually the second and last one so this one, you know, I have I have pretty bare bones. You know, I have my my drum kit and I have my leads. I might actually add on to this, but for the sake of what I'm doing tonight, uh, we're just going to leave it like this right now. And if you get into the mood, definitely get in there and switch some things up. But before we jump into all of that, what I do want to do is I want to go ahead and plug one of the uh, one of the last interviews that was on this channel. And it was the Nimrod interview, very dope individual. Um, he says that we made it comfortable for him, but I think it was the other way around. He made it real comfortable for us, you know, gave us some gems on stocks, also gave us some gems on the music business. And, you know, we just had a good time. You know, go check out that video. If you go back and subscribe, you know, like, comment, uh, that would be appreciated as well. Let's get into it. that folks i hope you like that right there be inspired stay inspired 
that's one of my new logos for my merch. You can find that at docfreeman.live. And uh, if you uh, if you like it, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend. But let's get back into it. So uh, right now I got the verse, pre-hook, hook, and bridge already put together for this song idea that I got going on right now. So let me just do a breakdown. So we're going to turn the drums all the way off, the drum kit itself. So for the leads right now on this verse portion, uh, what I did, I didn't really use much on this. Uh, I have a kit that's on this synth right here. Of course, it's arcade. Um, yes, I did chop certain sections of it. Uh, other sections, uh, added a little something more to it, changed the key. Uh, the key on this one is about, a, I think it's an F minor. Things F minor. I'll even share with you guys what I use too. That's no biggie. So arcade has so much flavor to it, so much flavor. So I'm using the pool side, uh, the pool side part of this VST for uh, arcade, and yeah, F minor. Didn't do too much to it, uh, but let's go back. And what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna start cooking and. When we get to the point where we got to do the exporting and tracking out, I'll show you exactly how that's done. So this part is just my synth. And it's like a filtered synth. Then after that, what I did, I'm going to slide this off. Actually, I'm just going to close this. So what I also added in here was a strum feature. Which is also arcade. You can use arcade more than... Basically, if you want to use it like a multi... What you have to do is you, you, you have to use it in more than one different sound right now. Hopefully that's something that we can fix. Maybe, you know, you might be able to use something like one of the patches, uh, like from Blue Cat. I'll try it. I'll let you guys know if I do put something like that together, I will put a video together. And I'll go ahead and what I'll do, I'll just upload a template of it. But this is what we have for our leads right now. So let's add our drums. So if you were to if you were to ask me to describe this, describe the feel and everything, because that's 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 really what we're what we're aiming for. The feel of this one, of course, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm using the 808 drums, uh, you know, the 808 kick, 808 snare, etc. cetera, whole, whole pack there, but I think the key is to use it with your own flavor, you know, familiarity is, uh, is, is something that I think that will make this pop uh, for the idea that I had. Just wanted to have something cool, funky, a uh, little bit, little, little bit edgy, and that's the verse portion. We'll go ahead and stop that one. Uh, so we go into the verse. We got a pre-hook before the hook, and then we got uh, our bridge. Um, I can go ahead and play all of them. So the pre-hook sounds like this. <laughs> the volume a little bit so you'll also notice here too hopefully that's not too low but you'll also notice the machine too you can start from whatever bar measure you want so you know you can duplicate your patterns here on machine all you gotta do is hit pattern and then go into 
to duplicate which would be on the first screen well the screen on the left let's just say it that way the screen on the left uh, if you look above the little buttons the little white buttons it will actually say you know, duplicate double etc so you can duplicate that like if i wanted to take that one right there i could do it that way just by right clicking but we're not going to keep that you can still use Control z on PC and you can use command Z on Mac to get rid of that so that's the pre hook did the same thing here on the hook you can see I just added some I just added some brass in there Four bars right there and then of course the bridge you know I had to do a little switch up I had to do a little switch up on this um, just to keep it interesting and keep the whole rise you know the ebbs and flows going so this is what the bridge sounds like <laughs> Again, this is not a trap beat. This is not a trap beat. It has trap elements. But so far, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go into the arrange view. But you can click right here, or you just hit the arrange button on machine. So I already got a little something already arranged here. This doesn't have to be definite. That's the cool thing that I like about this. So what I do, if I feel like I'm gonna make a change, whether it's I'm you know mixing the beat or if I'm just you know arranging it, what I'll do, I'll just do another save as. And of course, after doing the save as, you wanna save project with samples. Because if you're gonna do multiple machine projects, and you're gonna have them staged like that. Like, let's say you have them in separate folders. You wanna make a copy of those sounds because what's gonna wind up happening is this. You're not gonna back up like how you should. So when I was learning, what I was told was, you know, to back up to something like, you know, a CD, I'm sorry, not even a CD, a DVD, rewritable. You know, go ahead and get yourself an external hard drive. Thumb drives weren't that tough at the time, um, but you know, it is what it is, it's the same thing. So you wanna save one to like an external drive, you wanna save one to uh, something like disk, and the other one now, of course, didn't have the cloud then either, you wanna save one to the cloud, and you wanna have another one on your computer. And personally, what I like doing is backing it up everywhere. So I like using Dropbox, uh, OneDrive and Google Drive. I think I might be making some changes to where I can centralize everything. Uh, Dropbox is pretty cool. They do this WeTransfer thing. And with WeTransfer, it's like you send it and all of the other uh, platforms that allow you to do that. You just don't have to pay for it. So that's definitely a plus. But, you know, getting on to it. So as far as bouncing it out and running with it, this is what I came up with without an intro or an outro. And please remember, be inspired, stay inspired. Let's go. I had to be inspired that night to do this because it was very late. I think I probably stayed up to about three in the morning just doing other stuff, not even just this. I 
just had the urge to to go back and create and um you know this is something i'm proud of i, I think i'm gonna build on it some more but i like the sounds you know the elements and everything so far and the idea you guys let me know what you think i'm gonna see if this is gonna be something that i'm gonna give up for youtube uh, or something that i'm gonna put on my beat store page um, which you can go ahead and, and subscribe for the website i'm sorry the newsletter and all that good stuff too i'll plug it later but anyway that was the pre-hook which is gonna last about eight bars and then we're gonna roll into the hook which is four yeah it might be backwards i just didn't want to hear that for eight bars me personally you guys let me know what you think And I don't know if you guys can see this too, but there's a little gap right here between the bridge and the verse. Uh, you can actually, instead of just throwing the scenes that you've already made in the other view, in the creator view, you can go ahead and here, click on this plus, and you can create silence inside the arranger by yourself without having to just do that on, on another scene or just make a pattern or something. turn the swing up a little something not too much though uh because i i didn't quantize the drum kit so i don't want it to sound funky not that type of funky so if you hold shift while you're turning the jog wheel it'll do it by smaller increments that's for anything sound funny it might not you know the other ears if you guys have you know any feedback that you want to leave this is what i came up with after the last light night inspiration and i wanted to save it especially for you guys just to show you this so so this part really just you know repeats itself from the first verse itself um you know but we do have three verses in here uh, we managed to put, you know, the pre-hook and the hook in here three times and leave the bridge right after the second verse. I like the placement myself, so I think we're going to stay with it. Probably going to build on it. Uh, may pick the guitar up, see what I could do along with it. Or I just might go digging. Who knows? Who knows? So here's the thing. So if we want to go ahead and export this and track it out rather here's what you do so you go to export audio all right so i don't want to do master your source you want to change that to sound i do all of them i do sound group and master i keep mine at 48 uh just because i'm bouncing it as far as the wave and if i'm going to send it off to be mixed or, well, you know, it's definitely going to get mixed, uh, you, you know, the work that I do on everything, unless, you know, it's something that is going going on a different platform. If, if it's something that's, you know, going to be available, um, well, we'll get into that later. But anyway, so the loop, definitely want to get the whole loop in there. The whole, how many bars? 72? Eh, 
Yeah, 72, four and a half bars. Yeah, oh, four and a half measures. So we got that much there. We want to loop that. You want to make sure all these are checked. This is the drum kit. Shout out the native instruments for the community drive. You can find this this drum kit on the community drive. It's sick. You know, all you really have to do is go into your, um, what is that? Native access. That's correct. Yes, native access. And, um, no, I'm sorry. You, yeah, native access. So what you do, you go to the Native Instruments website first, and you can download it or rather register it, you'll get a code. Uh, it's not going to cost you anything. You just enter it in Native Access when you start Native Access. And then after that, voila, you know, you <laughs> you have access to a lot of dope drum kits. Uh, on the last video, I was um, auditioning the, uh, the Just Blaze kit. Super dope. Super dope. So anyway... I'm going to find out where I'm going to send these. Uh, 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 uh. Dropbox. We'll go ahead and send this to the masters. What do we call this? Better for both. Is that in there? No. Nah. All right, cool. Oh, come on. It always does that. So I'm going to use that anyway, because I'm going to know what that is. So I might as well, you know, address that right now. So when you have Dropbox, you can get a desktop program. You know, this works for Mac, PC. Not sure if it works for Linux or anything else like that. But when you get the actual desktop software, what it does, it makes a directory directly on your computer. And while it makes that directory right on your computer, uh, when you're saving stuff, <laughs> it creating folders directly out of machine to save, um, you know, master files and stuff like that, or mix files or whatever files directly out of machine. Make sure you create the file first, wait a few seconds and wait for it to change from uh, green to blue. Uh, that way, then you can rename the folder name. But, uh, you know, moving forward. So it has all my sounds here. All right. So this is from both groups. Uh, so what I want to do, I want to go back in there. There's this. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm just going to get rid of that one later. All right. So it turned green. Better for both. I personally like to put the BPM information. If you go into certain DAWs, it's probably not going to allow you to go into the 100 decimal space. So you're probably just going to have to put 75. But I'll figure that on the other side. My shortcut, I copy and paste from there. So I can change the title. Okay. It's going to create its own folder for the sound, so I don't have to create subfolders. Uh, split by section. Do I want to do that? Nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Loop optimize, yes. Normalize, no. Because this is not a mastered file. So I'm not going to do that. I want my levels to be where they're at. And the purpose of sending these out this way, exporting these this way so that they can be mixed. So I'm going to hit export. Oh, excuse me if it looks like I'm just looking around like I'm paranoid. But I got the camera set up some type of way and I got my monitors here. So... <laughs> You know, it may look a little crazy, but I assure you um, that we're cooking here. We're cooking. We're cooking with grease. So if you look over here, you can see that it's not doing this real time. 
and that's why the volume faders or the uh, the indicators are, are moving like that. So it is right into the disc. This is going directly to my computer and directly to Dropbox. This makes probably the best way to share between artists or to share between whoever you're going to share with. So I would recommend that you get the desktop software for one, for whatever file, ser excuse me, for whatever file sharing service that you're using, because that's going to make it easier on everyone. Make sure that they're able to download. Make sure that they can download, and you know the the transfer, the Dropbox transfer. Make sure that there is a paid fee if you do want. If you don't want the links to expire, if you want to create passwords you know for encryption and stuff like that i think it's probably like five bucks or or you know some low fee or something like that which all depends because everybody doesn't need it like that you can always tell somebody hey look you know uh, this link's going to expire seven days i'm just sending you a follow-up message so that you can go ahead and download this at your earliest convenience before the expiration date and then no sweat And if all else fails, you know, it's it's already saved to your computer and it's saved to the cloud. So all you have to do is send it again. It's unlimited sends. And uh, you can add multiple files. I think you can send up to two gigabytes. Yeah, two gigabytes you can send. Which is more than enough if, if you're going to be sending stuff. But this is the way to do it anyway. Uh, it sends a zip. Um, a compressed file and of course you're going to need that when you're bouncing out waves at 48 kilohertz so we're almost there fortunately since we're live you know I, I can't do much as far as fast forwarding this but if I were doing a pre-recorded show I would have done so so now it's doing the loop optimizing Making sure that everything's on time. Everything looks good. From the only thing that we changed from the original uh, is, is, you know, put a little swing on there. So I'm gonna save this to the master file of this um, machine project file. So we're good there. And of course, I want to go behind and do it again. Export audio here. Uh, no, we want to stay with loop. I'm going to do a master. And this time I'm going to export it to the same place. Easiest way. Everything's on the one. It's uh, all of the sounds uh, that were just exported were exported with when I when I say that I exported wet it means it has whatever effects are on there. I put if anything everything's light on there. Uh, a lot of it's the effects are directly in the VST. So I'm really not going to mess with that right now. Um most times when you want to get stuff dry like that is if you know it, it could be a couple reasons. You know, you could have did a, a mix that you didn't really like. And you don't want to mess it up any further or you want to keep that, save that and export it just like I am now. Just the master, um, not even the master. I got to stop saying master because this isn't the master uh, bounce. This one's just a draft. So you want to send the draft as a reference as well. You know, just so that if you're sending this to a mixing engineer or a mastering engineer, that they can have an idea of what it is that you want to do. And they might actually you know, give you some feedback. Most times you will get some type of feedback uh, as far as where to go next with that. But also be prepared, you know, be prepared, have all your stuff ready. And don't be like me, don't be like me. Why did I say don't be like me? I lost almost three terabytes of music, three terabytes. Um, on the cloud, on my computer, and on my externals. And some stuff I got back, a lot of stuff I didn't. And there's been numerous, numerous beats 
that, um, you know, of course, I, I, I wanted to, uh, you know, offer up and things like that or that were asked for. But my problem was if, if you can all, if you couldn't do a two track mix on it, there's no point. And if you have a beat saved that has tags on it, there's nothing you can really do with that anyway if tags are all the way through it. So welcome to 2020, right? All right, so this is almost done exporting. Just doing the loop optimize again. Didn't take that long. That's really all you got to do. That's really all you got to do right there. That's really all you got to do. So that's my time for the day. I appreciate everyone that took the time to watch this video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let this run back. And, you know, see if I hear anything final before I save it. Actually, I'm going to save it first. I should have saved it more times than just this one time since you've been watching this video. Uh, at least every five minutes. If anyone from Native Instruments is watching this, that would be really dope to have a crash feature to when this crashes, that there's a backup file that it can be restored from or to just have automatic file save. That's just my two cents. But anyway, this is Doc Freeman. You've been watching Late Night Inspirations and I'm sorry, Late Night Inspiration. And uh, this is this is how you export files, you know, for tracking them out. I'll see y'all next week. See you. What will it be? October twenty second. Yeah, October twenty second. Make sure you guys vote. I'm not telling you who to vote for, but make sure you vote. Uh, make sure you do your part. Make sure you be good to your neighbor. Make sure that you know you be inspired. Stay inspired. And while you're at it, also make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.